excuse me. Hi, Scott Whitley here, and welcome to lesson two in Air Training for Bass. In this lesson, what we're going to have a look at is singing a harmony to uh, whatever it is you're playing on the bass. So obviously we're going to kind of start with scales and arpeggios, that sort of thing. Um, now, if you remember in lesson one, I was talking about the importance of, of singing what you play. Um, and I really believe, uh, particularly if you want to get into improvising and soloing uh, and, and kind of meaningful um, playing, you know, if you think of music as a language, then, you know, if it's just kind of stuff that, you, you know, if you're just kind of putting your fingers in the right place, as it were, rather than hearing lines first and then singing them, there's not really going to be that much, I would say, depth behind what you're playing. Um, I mean, one of the things I've been thinking about a lot in the car when I'm dr kind of driving round is that, you know, if I was on the way to a, a, a gig and, you know, I plugged my bass in when I got there and, and it didn't work, you know, could I actually feasibly, get, you know, make an attempt at getting through the gig just by singing the bass parts? Now, I probably couldn't, uh, and probably a lot, a lot of bass players couldn't, but I could kind of have a go, you know? Um, I think the only thing that would let me down would be my vocal range and, 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 you know, kind of vocal capabilities. But, you know, kind of, I wouldn't be scared to at least give it an, a go, you know, to sing the bass lines. Um, I'd certainly hear the bass lines in my head, you know? So, you know, that, that's something that, that I think we should all aim towards uh, as players is, you know, could we actually do what we do without the instrument, um, you know, and, and, and if no, maybe, you know, you want to think about it, you know? A lot of the word no's there, sorry about that. So I'm um, going to um, just kind of get stuck into this. And, and what we're going to do is, um, you know, in previous lessons, um, I've talked about, as I say, singing what you play. So if you're playing uh, a major scale. Da, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just kind of humming or singing the exact notes of, of that scale. Now, one of the things that's really going to kind of, um, you know, test your kind of harmonic abilities or push them, you know, if you've not done this before, is to as I say, sing a harmony to that. Now, uh, let's just dive straight into this. One of the things that I recommend you really, really get your head around is a thing called the diatonic chord system, which is basically the major scale, what we just played, uh, but harmonized, made up into chords, okay? So let's just take a, a, a really simple example of that. If you take the major scale in the key of C, okay, and you play um, at, let, let's think, you take the third note of the scale, one, two, three, that, that note there. If you continue the major scale, if you play eight notes from there up the rest of the C major scale, I'm going to have to go into a second octave here, up to there. If you were to play along, play those alongside the C major scale itself, you'd get this. I'm going to do it slowly so I can go up the neck. Okay, you get a nice kind of harmony sound. So what you've got is, um, is, a, is, is a kind of root and a third above that are kind of following the scale up. Now they change as they go. They, you, you've got a major one, a minor one, a minor, a major, a major, a minor, a minor, and a major. Okay. So as I say, if you kind of look out, maybe Google uh, or YouTube search for the di diatonic chord system, I uh, highly recommend you get into that. But um, let's give this a go. What I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to jump to that third note of the C major scale. Okay, so okay, so we're now on the third note of the ma C major scale. And what I'm going to do is play eight notes starting on that up the rest of the C major scale. So if I were to paint dots on the fingerboard here, we'd be looking at just the C major scale. I'm not playing anything different, okay? So here we go. So just see, uh, get your hair around this. Now, if you wanna just kinda take a minute and just kinda follow what I'm doing, okay? I'm gonna, here we go, two, three, four. And again. Okay. 
So that, so what we're doing there, we're kind of effectively playing, playing a mode of the major scale, but that's a whole, um, a whole lesson in itself, really. I'm not going get, to get into exactly what we're doing. All I'm going to call this at the minute is the C major scale, but starting on the third note. We're, we're missing the first two out, and we're going through the octave um, into the second octave. As long as we play eight notes, we've got a full octave, okay? But what we're going to do now is play that uh, and uh, you know if you want to take a minute and keep rewinding the video until you've got that that line down with your fingers um, also highly recommend you sing that line as you learn it of course um, what, what we're going to do is sing the normal major scale starting on the root while we play that line that we were just playing a minute ago okay so we're going to sing the Just hum it like that if you want. Let's give it a go, playing it with that third in. Here we go, after four. Mm, so that's our first note. La, mm, and that's the first note for the bass. So, mm, one, two, three, four. Na, 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 So what I'm going to do now is put the drum machine on and we'll just kind of sing that, um, that, that scale exercise we've just done in a loop. We'll do an octave up, kind of take a, a pause and then an octave down, okay? So let's just confirm the, the starting note. So it's that note for the, for the bass and for the voice. Get that in your head. Here we go. There you go. Um, and like every other exercise, um, I'd recommend you do that with a drum machine really slowly if you need to, so you can really concentrate on the pitch of each note, uh, and then gradually speed it up, you know, maybe 10 or 15 BPM at a time. Okay. Let's turn that on its head right now. Um, and we'll swap, okay? So we'll sing what we were playing on the bass, uh, and on the bass, we'll play what we were singing, okay? So the bass is just gonna play the straight um, C major scale. Now this might go beyond, uh, certainly, you know, my vocal range. Let's see what happens. If it does, we're gonna need to shift key. So the bass is gonna play a straight eight note major scale and the voice is going to sing the harmony that we we just were playing. So let's just kind of learn that on its own for a minute, okay? No, that's a starting note. Da, da, da. So again, take the time to, to learn that, get comfortable with um, with singing that with the voice. Um, and now what we're going to do is put the drum machine on and s sing that whilst we play the straight major scale with the bass. Hope you're following me. Here we go. That's the starting note. Na, three, four.
sound a bit like John Shuttleworth there. Fantastic. Here we go. Da, 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 So again, you know, give that a practice. You can just hum it if you like. If that really is too high, like it is a little bit too high for me, certainly just sat here trying to be cool in the house, you know, uh, then you can you can change the key, just move everything that you're doing into a different key. Um, okay. And you can do this with, um, well, well, we can do this with pretty much, much any interval. That's an interval there we're playing. Obviously, we're playing the root of, of um, each note of the major scale with the bass and singing a third above, okay? Um, but you can actually sing, uh, you know, fourth of above, a second above, a fifth, some of these get really, really hard to do. Uh, so we'll just stick with kind of chord tones for the minute. And what we'll do now is we'll try singing the major scale while we play a fifth above, okay? So we're gonna play, starting on the fifth note of the major scale, which is that one there. And we're gonna kind of carry on eight notes from there up the major scale. now. Um, again, we're going to go into it, the second octave of the major scale. So I'll just play this a few times um, so you can kind of get your head around it and you can learn it on the bass. Here we go. So starting on the fifth note of the C major scale. Here we go. sing the straight major scale da, stopped it on there da, da, na, 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 na. that's what we're going to sing whilst playing that line starting on the fifth note let's give it a go na, that's the first note to sing one two three four na, 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 na. So again, it's not about, you know, vocal abilities. Great if you can. I mean, the thing is, um, you know, this is kind of the kind of thing, if you, if you really kind of put your heart and soul into singing these things, uh, rather than just making a kind of half ass attempt at humming them like I'm doing now, um, you know, you could really improve your, uh, your vocal abilities as well. You know, this could really help with um, singing harmonies in the band, that kind of thing. So um, have fun with it, you know. Um, you could turn that round and you know sing the fifth. I'd definitely have to change key to do that while you play the the major scale. Um, so you know, let me know how you get on. Send me an email um, if you're having any problems or you don't understand any of the concepts in this lesson. Um, in the meantime, please check out the website scott-whitley.com or email me on scott at scott-whitley.com. Um, in the link below you'll find my uh, Facebook and Twitter links. Have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers, bye.